just didn't feel right and it was just a big pop feeling in my hip and I just went down right there and uh, just never came back for probably two to three months and after a while it just kind of the pain just kind of went away and uh, I started playing again and so I came into high school so in my ninth grade year tried out for the team and made it and about halfway through the year I realized that the pain really wasn't gone and so I went to see a regular pediatrician and he referred me to a few doctors before I came here and those few doctors really had little ideas what was going on and it was not until I don't know how they were able to locate this hospital but it's really um, amazing what they've done here for me and just finding this hospital and uh, right when I came in it was very friendly service and it was I feel like I know Dr. Albright very personally now and uh, by coming in the first the first time he took x-rays and everything and uh, he identified it immediately as an avulsion fracture which is basically where the muscle in my quadricep is torn off of the bone. Oh. Yeah. Ow. And, and you uh, live with that for a while. Yeah. You're yeah. one tough kid. Yeah, for about a year. I just played, kept playing. I didn't know it was there. And so uh, later, so in that summer in July, I think it was 2008, I had surgery on it to remove that uh, extra piece of bone that was sitting in there from when it broke off. And uh, after that, I was it was probably two to three months for recovery. And I came back and tried out for soccer again, but I wasn't quite ready, so I'd, I didn't play on the team that year. But I kept going, and uh, in the winter in January, I came back and went to go out for track and uh, wanted to try hurdles, which was probably a mistake. And uh, going over a hurdle, I... <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I could have called that for you. Dad, where were, where yeah. were you when uh, he was saying, Dad's a football uh, coach. I think I'm going to do hurdles. Uh, you know, the last time you had some massive leg movement there, it ripped away from the bone. Didn't it? Hurdles, did not good. Well, you know, one of the things we do as parents is stay out of the way. Okay. Uh, and that, that's probably, yeah, I know. looking back on it, if I was that intelligent, I'd have I an know. island in Tahiti somewhere. I, and, so. I know, and I know that the, 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 that's the strategy, because if you objected, then they're they're surely going to do it, right? So that's sometimes yeah, you you got to pick your battles. Absolutely. It's an important story, though, Ryan, because we've talked a lot about you know small babies. We've talked a lot, and in fact, with Tamari, who's our hero here for the, the kind of the face of the end of our radiothon this year but, but a lot of parents listening again they they never quite they understand a little bit that oh yeah my kid might be in an accident or something like that maybe but they can't picture themselves needing you know children's the, the, the hospital here at Arnold Palmer because they're saying ah, oh, my kid just plays sports they're really strong and they're healthy and then but this something like this can happen and, and it can happen to anyone and it can happen to an athlete yes yeah. And, uh, they were the only ones yeah. that got it right. Yeah, yeah. It was it was really a blessing that we found this place and that they were able to treat me as they were. And, and he the was only three feet tall when they fixed the second <laughs> joint. Now he's six foot eight. Look at that. <laughs> fixed him pretty good. <laughs> yeah. And after I went over that hurdle, it was obviously the same sort of thing happened. <laughs> and uh, so I came right back to here, and it turns out that um, it was a torn labrum. And a labrum in your hip is basically what uh, holds the joint together, and being like kind of like acts as like a suction cup for the joint. And so, and so uh, later that that summer, so it was July 2009, I had another surgery on this to repair that. And um, this was after I did some research myself on it. And this is this surgery was very uncommon up until about 10 years ago and so it's really that um, the fact that this hospital and Dr. Albright was up with the all the current um, information that they had and the latest research was really crucial because that injury could have very easily been misdiagnosed and and now you have a long so sports very career lucky. very lucky thanks yeah. for sharing your story thank you Ryan good luck Continue. Well, thank, you. Good thank luck. you coach next time thanks maybe hurdles aren't such a great idea <laughs>